Hello, students. We are going to start with the alternating current MCQs. We have already completed the synopsis part. So here we have the first question. In a purely capacitive circuit. So you have a circuit where there is only a capacitor is there. Options what they are giving C. Lags behind EMF by pi. Leads EMF by pi. Option C. Lags behind EMF by pi. And option D. Leads EMF by pi. So in this chapter we will study when the AC circuit is applied for the register capacitor and for the inductor and after that we will study that all the three are connected to the same ac source what happens to the current value what happens to the emf value and then our derivations and an otv so in care for the capacitive circuit so nimatra in the very capacitive circuit in the yavaga nimatra register circuit in the for the ac source there is no lack of current or the there is no lack of the EMF behind each other. So both are in the same phase. But when you are using the capacitive circuit, here the current will be leading EMF by pi by 2. And Tandre option D is the correct answer. So current A Naktai then Tandre. These all options are having pi by 2. Okay. So here. It is pi by 2 everywhere. Pi by 2 under 90 and tagate. So this is also pi by 2. For option B also they are giving it as pi by 2. Option C also same. And option D also same. So correct option is it leads by the EMF of pi by 2. That is option D is the correct answer for the capacitive circuit. See the next question. A pure inductor of 25 milli Henry is connected to a source of 220 volt. Given the frequency of the source as 50 hertz, the RMS current in the circuit is. So current test is the circuit only. What all given it is? Kottiro values only. Inductance value with it, that is 25 milli Henry. So, milli Henry and a convert mark it is 25 into 10 raise to minus 3 Henry. Then we have the voltage. So, voltage is 220 volt and the frequency is it is 50 hertz. The RMS current in the circuit is so RMS current calculate madly here. So, to calculate the RMS current, namatra iro formula and I RMS is equal to. VRMS divided by XL because the inductive capacity and the inductor is the circuit only. So we need to use the formula for the inductive reactance formula. Yes. So from Ohm's law actually V is equal to IR and R is equal to V by R, but inductor is the it will be V divided by XL. So see in the given question. VRMS value is given that is 220. So VRMS value will put there, no problem for that. But what about the Excel value? Excel value kotila. So first now will Excel value take code because therefore Excel is given by so Excel is equal to it is 2 pi f into L. Okay. So substitute the value 2 into 22 by 7 into F. So frequency, it is 50, it is given, L, inductance value, it is given as 25 into 10 raised to minus 3, 25 into 10 raised to minus 3, correct. So here if you substitute all the values and uh, later we need to calculate the value of IRMS. Yes. So, IRMS is VRMS divided by XL. VRMS yesterday, VRMS is given as 220. So, 
So here it is two twenty divided by Excel value. So Excel value if I substitute here, so simplification here I'll do separately. So see it will be I RMS is equal to it is two twenty divided by two into twenty two by seven into fifty into twenty five into ten raised to minus three. Yes. So the seven I can take it up seven into. So here we have twenty two. Here I have twenty. Two ten, therefore it will be hundred and ten. Hundred and ten. Here we have the ten to the power of minus three. So if I take this ten to the power of minus three, it will be ten raised to three. So here it will be okay. So after the simplification, here in the denominator I have two into five into twenty-five. Here, whatever the fifty is there, so here I'll make it as five into ten to the power one. So here ten to the power minus three is there. Ten to the power one, ten to the power minus three. It will be ten to the power minus two. So ten to the power minus two mail gade ho dre. It will be. This is not hundred and ten. This is only ten. Okay, so ten is two two and the hundred agatte hundred into ten is nothing but thousand. Yes, so this you need to simplify. So this, if you simplify here, we will get it as twenty eight ampere. We will get it as twenty eight ampere. That is option C is the correct answer. Okay, so check with the answer. Go for the next question. Two twenty volt, fifty hertz AC source is connected to an inductance of point two Henry and a resistance of twenty ohm in series. So resistance is there, voltage is there, frequency is there. The current in the circuit is. So we need to calculate the current in the circuit. Okay. So this is also same like the previous question itself, because you have the voltage value, frequency is there. It is connected to inductance. L value is there, resistance value is there. So here I'll write it. That is I R M S is equal to V R M S divided by X L, which is equal to. So this is again two twenty divided by. It is two pi F L. Two into pi into f into l is yes. so l is given as Henry. No need to convert it. So substitute all the values here. Here, if you simplify this one, so again same. That is twenty-two. Here it will be ten. Then here fifty is there. Point two is there. Point two we can make it as two divided by ten. Take it to up. Then it will be ten into ten hundred. Hundred divided by here the term. Yes. So here, if you simplify, you will get it as three point three three ampere. That is option A is the correct option here. Okay. So same formula. You can substitute and you can simplify this.
here, but they are giving you resistance value also. So I thought only inductance is there. So resistance could I wrote in the name in my back at the Here the current value is given by it is V divided by impedance. So impedance and a Z in the denote my TV, which is equal to V divided by. So impedance for the uh, series LR circuit is it will be given as XL square plus R square XL square plus R square. Okay. So non bekadri either a separate agil calculate marko bodu. So we separate if you calculate the value of XL square plus R square, this is equal to. So XL value now you need to substitute separately first. So XL is nothing but what 2 pi FL. So 2 pi FL marko dre. XL is equal to it is 2 pi F into L. So if you substitute here, it will be 20 into pi. That is your Excel value. So therefore, here it will be 20 pi plus your R value. It is 20 whole square. So this is also square. Okay. So pi value also you can substitute here. So if you simplify the value of this impedance Z, the impedance Z value is 65.94 ohm. 65.94 ohm. So this impedance value I need to take here. So this will be 220 divided by 65.94. 65.94. Yes. So now if you simplify this, you will get it as 33.33 ampere. So option A is the correct option here. Okay. So LR circuit use one because previous case ali namatra bari inductor matra itu here we have both uh, inductor and the resistor. Okay, the next question is the inductive reactance XL of the inductor coil is so inductive reactance XL of induction coil is. Options always constant in AC circuit, directly proportional to frequency of AC, inversely proportional to frequency of AC, directly proportional to time period. So you have an inductive reactance for the induction coil. Is so inductive reactance and the XL is equal to omega. Frequency relation either so options only new node daga in node nam gain go to the excel is equal to so what we know is XL is equal to omega L, which is equal to 2 pi F into L. So, which implies that XL is proportional to F. Correct. So, options are in the node. Always constant in AC. No, that is not possible. Directly proportional to frequency of AC. Yes, this is true. But then node inversely proportional to frequency. No. Then directly proportional to the time period. No. So actually, inversely proportional time period and the good kidra neditit to, but really they are giving you directly proportional. No, that is also not possible. Go for the next question. A pure inductance of one Henry is connected across 110 volt, 70 hertz source. The reactance and the peak value of current are the reactance and the peak value of current are okay. So let us see here. We need to calculate for the inductor connected across the source voltage and the frequency is given. Reactance and current value we need to calculate. So reactance is given by here for the fifth question. The reactance is given by XL is equal to omega into L. So that is nothing but again 2 pi F into L, which is equal to 2 into 22 by 7 or 3.142 into frequency. So frequency is 70 hertz into L value, inductance. So the inductance value is 1 Henry. Okay. 
So if you substitute this all, it will be 439.6 ohm. It is the XL value. 439.6 ohm is the inductance value. If we require the current value, therefore the current value is given by, it is I RMS is equal to V RMS divided by XL, which is equal to 110 divided by, it is 439.6. Okay, so this if you simplify here, it will comes out to be 225, 0.25 ampere. But they are asking you the peak value of the current. Okay, so this is IRMS value. So what is the relation between IRMS and the peak value? We know that. Here, I not that is peak value is equal to i rms into root 2 i rms value is 0 0.25 root 2 value will be 1.41 so if you simplify here it will be 0 0.354 ampere that is peak value of current so options koti dare avaru so koti options ali a option barutte that is the uh, xl value is 439.5 6 ohm and the peak value of the current is 0 0.354 ampere. Okay. So, see here, students, actually, AC chapter will formulas just see but uh, it is very simple. If once you clear with the formulas, it will be very easy to simplify any numericals either in the board exam or in the uh, your competitive exam. So, little focus on the formula first two, three days. Just practice with all the formulas. Once you remember the formulas, very easy to do the MCQs. Okay. Next question. If frequency of RL circuit is F, then impedance will be. So, if the frequency of RL circuit is F, then its impedance value they are asking. So, our options. Here, the options given are option A is under root of R square plus 2FL whole square. Option B is R square plus 2F square whole square root illa. Option C is under root of R square plus pi L F square. Option D is it is R square plus 2 pi F whole square. So, these are the given options. So, question L is there. If frequency of RL circuit is F, then impedance will be. So, impedance will be R for the RL circuit. In Bharate, that is. For the RL circuit, Z is equal to, it is R square plus xl square r square plus xl square okay what about the xl is equal to xl is equal to omega well which is also is equal to 2 pi fl therefore z is equal to it will be r square plus xl value xl value is 2 pi f l whole square it is correct so therefore option a is the correct option here option a is the Correct option. Okay. Then the next question. An inductive circuit contains a resistance of 10 ohm and an inductance of 2 Henry if an AC voltage of 120 volt and frequency 60 hertz is applied to this circuit, the current would be nearly. Yes. So you have a circuit. It is an inductive circuit. Its resistance is 10 ohm. And the inductance value is 2 Henry. If an AC voltage of 2, 120 volt and frequency of 60 hertz is applied, 
द करंट वुड बी तो करंट वैल्यू दे आर आस्किंग ओके सो करंट इज इक्वल टू वी डिवाइडेड बाय इंपेडेंस जेड वी वैल्यू इज गिवन 120 ओल्ड बट जेड वैल्यू वी नीड टू कैलकुलेट फर्स्ट सो टू कैलकुलेट द जेड वैल्यू हियर एक्सेल इज देयर सो देयरफॉर इट विल बी 2 पाई एफ एल सो फर्स्ट सो फर्स्ट स्टेप ऐन आगत अंतंद्र फर्स्ट यू नीड टू कैलकुलेट द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्सेल so therefore xl is equal to it is 2 pi f into l it will be 2 into 22 by 7 into f value is 60 into l value is it is 2 okay so here if you simplify it will be 754.3 ohm 754.3 ohm that is the value of xl so let us calculate the value of z So the z value is it is under root of r square plus x l whole square. So that is under root of ten square plus seven fifty four point three whole square. So if you simplify this, so ten square is hundred, then seven fifty four point three square. Add this to hundred. Take the square under the square root. So if you take it and from the square root out, it will be seven fifty four point three five ohm. This is the value of Z. I require the current value here. Therefore, the current value is V divided by Z. V value is one twenty volt, and the impedance value is seven fifty four point three five. So if you do this one, it will be zero point one six ampere. So option B is the correct answer. Option B is the correct answer. Zero point one six ampere. Yes. Okay. Copy down. Go for the next question. A choke is preferred to a resistance for limiting current in AC circuit because so you are using a choke is preferred to a resistance for limiting a current in the AC circuit. So now when we are talking about that, Here we don't require whatever the current we are getting it from the mains circuit. We need to limitize the current sometimes. So for limitizing the AC, we are using the choke. So why? Options given are choke is cheap. There is no wastage of the power. Choke is com compact in size. Choke is a good absorber of heat. So here. Actually, when you are using the choke, there is no wastage of the power. There is no wastage of the power. That is option B is the correct option here. Option B. Okay. So what happens in an AC circuit? The coil of high inductance and negligible resistance used to control the current, and that is called as what choke coil. That is called as the choke coil. And the third theory. Okay. So here, option B is the correct answer. Then the next question: A coil has resistance thirty ohm and the inductive reactance twenty ampere uh, Henry twenty ohm inductive reactance twenty ohm. When the frequency of the source, when the frequency of the source is fifty hertz, so frequency is to the fifty. Hertz there. If an AC source of two hundred volt and hundred hertz is connected across the coil, the current in the coil will be. 
So what is the current in the coil will be, okay? Here, options given are 20 ampere, 2 ampere, 4 ampere and the 8 ampere. We need to calculate the value of current. So to calculate the value of current, we require... voltage and the impedance. So, voltage is uh, given 200 volt. We need to calculate the impedance. So, to calculate the impedance, it is again, it is a LR circuit. So, for the LR circuit, it is R square plus XL square. So, therefore, Z is equal to R square plus XL square. So, see what all it is given, what you need to do. But here, whatever the resistance value they are giving, it is one is 30 ohm and the one more is the 20 ohm. So, two value of resistance it is given. So, therefore, see what to do. It is XL is equal to 20 ohm. So, here if I see one more value of X dash means XL dash maton koti dare yes tanta it has a resistance of 30 ohm and R value is given as 30 ohm and inductive reactance is 20 ohm when the frequency is 50 hertz if an AC source of 200 volt and 100 hertz is connected across the coil okay therefore Here, what we need to do is XL is equal to 20 ohm, but XL is also given by XL is equal to XL is equal to it is 2 pi F into L. So, which is equal to 2 into pi into L value. So, L value calculate here we will use it as. So, see, XL is equal to 2 pi FL, which is equal to 20 ohm. Therefore, L is equal to, it will be 20 divided by 2 pi into F, which is equal to 20 divided by 2 pi into F value is how much? It is 50. So, this is equal to 20 divided by, it is 100 into pi. Therefore, XL dash is equal to 2 pi F into L F dash, which is equal to 2 into pi into F value is 100 into L value. So, L value just now we have written. It is 20 divided by 100 into pi. So, pi pi will get cancelled. 100, 100 will get cancelled. Therefore, you will get it as XL is equal to. Therefore, we will get it as XL is equal to. That is 40 ohm. So, here the frequency value is given. 1 has 50 hertz. 100 hertz. So, therefore, Excel dash we are calculating and its value is coming out to be 40 ohm. Therefore, the value of Z impedance is equal to. So, impedance is equal to it is under root of it is R square plus XL square. So, which is equal to R square. R is given as uh, 30 ohm. So, 30 square is 900 plus 40 square it is 1600. So, therefore, if you calculate here, it is 50 ohm is the value of the impedance. 
but here only it will not end. We require the current value. So current by kadre v by z. So v is two hundred divided by fifty. Correct. Right? The current value is four ampere. It is option C. So it is option C. Here it is option B. Correct. Okay, let us go for the next question. Then the next question is a three hundred ohm resistor and a inductance of one Henry has a source of an alternating voltage of frequency three hundred divided by two into pi hertz. The phase difference between the voltage and the current in the circuit is so you need to calculate the value of phase difference. So you have a resistor of resistance three hundred ohm, inductance one Henry, and the alternating voltage of frequency is three hundred divided by two pi hertz. The phase difference, yes. So the phase difference is given by it is tan pi is equal to omega L. Divided by R, so which is equal to omega L is given by two pi F into L divided by R. Therefore, this is equal to two pi into F value. It is three hundred divided by two pi into L value. is 1 and this whole divided by what it is this is whole divided by the resistance value that is r the resistance value is given as 300 yes so here 300 300 will get cancelled 2 pi 2 pi will get cancelled therefore you are left with only 1 so you have tan pi is equal to 1 therefore pi is equal to therefore pi is equal to it is 45 degree, correct? So it is 45 degree. Option B is the correct answer. 45 degree option B is the correct answer. Okay. Go for the next question. In a LR circuit, the value of self inductance L is 0 0.4 pi Henry. And that of resistance is 30 ohm. And alternating EMF of 200 volt at 50 hertz is applied to this circuit. The impedance and the current in the circuit will be. The impedance and the current in the circuit. So see how to do this. The impedance is given by that is Z is equal to. It is under root of R square plus XL square, which is equal to under root of R square plus 2 pi F into L whole square, which is equal to, so this is 30 whole square plus 2 pi FL. So 2 pi FL, 2 pi FL and 2 into 22 by 7 into F value is 50 into L value is 0.4 divided by pi. Correct. 
So here if you substitute, it will be 2 into 22 by 7 into 50 into 0 0.4 divided by pi. So pi pi will get cancelled. You have 2 into 50 into 0.4, but it is whole square. This term is under square and again it is under the square root. Correct? So therefore, this is equal to, so you will z value calculate madhidre, you will z value 50 ohm barat. z value is 50 ohm. So therefore, the current I is equal to V by z. So V value is how much? The V value is 200 divided by I value, with z value is it is 50. So the 0, 0 will get cancelled. 5, 1, za, 5, 4, za. So the answer is 4 ampere. Answer is 4 ampere. Option C. So option C is correct. That is 50 ohm and the 4 ampere. Yes. Then the next question, a coil having zero resistance is connected in series with a 90 ohm resistance and combination is connected to 120 volt 60 hertz line. A voltmeter reads 36 volt across the resistance and 114 volt across the coil. The self-inductance of the coil is, so here self-inductance they are asking, that is L value they are asking. The options given are, so option A is given as 0 0.076 Henry, 0 0.76 Henry, then we have 7.6 Henry, then we have 76 Henry. Okay, so therefore, here it will be. B inductor is equal to I into XL. So which is equal to I into XL is 2 pi F into L. Therefore L is equal to. So therefore L is equal to it is VL divided by 2 pi F into I. So VL value is 114 divided by 2 into pi value is 22 by 7 into F value. F value is given as 60 into I value. Current value is not given in the question. How the last? So current value for the last. So current value is resistance not the voltage. Is. So resistance not the voltage. Is. Now current value is find out find out. It is voltage, voltmeter reads 36 volt and the head is equationally. So, therefore, this will be 36 divided by resistance is 90 ohm and the cotidare. So, therefore, this is L is equal to. So, L is equal to 114 divided by 2 22 by 7 into 60 into 36 divided by 90. Correct. So, here the 90 value we can take it in the numerator and then 114 into 90 agathe. So, go on simplifying. So, you answer is 0 0.76 Henry. You should get the answer 0 0.76 Henry. This is your self inductance value. So, 0 0.76. Option B is the correct option. 0 0.76 option B is the correct option. Then the next question is, a choke coil has a resistance 8 ohm and the inductive reactance 6 ohm. The power factor of the coil is, so here we need to calculate the value of the power factor. So therefore, the power factor value is given by, it is cos pi is equal to R divided by Z, which is equal to R divided by Z value. So, the z value is, it is r square plus xl whole square. 
so which is equal to so r value is 8 ohm divided by under root of r value it is 8 square plus xl value inductive reactance value is also given so that is 6 square which is equal to so 8 divided by under root of 8 square is 64 into 6 square is 36 it is nothing but 8 divided by 100 that is under root so if you take this out of the square root it will be 8 divided by 10 so 8 divided by 10 is nothing but what 0. 0.8 ampere so sorry not ampere so it is just 0. 0.8 so cos pi value 0.8 so c is the correct answer option yes so in the next class we will continue with the more questions on the same topic. Thank you.